Nice. <laughs> that was a good speech. Oh, man. What a presentation. Really knows how to articulate. <laughs> All right, Don. This, <laughs> this ain't Kill Tony. You, you can take it easy on me. Is this All a right. panel? You guys, are set, he, you guys are setting me up. That's how he talks. That's you guys how are he setting talks. Me up. You used to make those kids cry on that show. I heard it, I hope they died after. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill Rogan you. took one of those guys on tour that they paneled against the the uh, Asian kid, San Kim. Or Hans, Kim. Hans, that's racist. What you said, but Hans Kim that's, is how's that racist? <laughs> Was it? No, oh, Hans, edit that Hans out, Kim. No, I'm kidding. Rogan uh, made him open racist. for him at a, at a stadium, I think. No, so, he's he went on the road with. I saw them. A guy uh, paneled. Yeah, at the MGM in Vegas, I saw Hans open for him, Brian Simpson, and Tony Hinchcliffe. Wow. Nice lineup. Yeah, uh-huh. they do like a competition with Hans now. Yeah. That's like... Now he's in that. But David Lucas also... I don't know if David ever... Yeah, David probably opened for Joe a few different times, but he's headlining everywhere. But he was one of the guys, too, that would come out. He's a good roaster. Like, it, it, he would always... Is that Lucas? Mm-hmm. David Lucas. So it's Hans kid, And then, who's the other kid? William? Shakespeare. Fa- Shakespeare. Yes, Shakespeare is on Kill Tony what? right now. Uh, and then there was that... Uh, the red-headed kid. Well, he's funny. Oh, the kid who... He looks like white trash. Like, he's always yeah. dressed up in, like, some... He, he's got a wild way of talking. Like, he's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love His him. hair is always, like, a mess, too, yeah. right? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. But they he's also funny. had... They had some kid who came on the other day. His name is Heath something or other. And he looks... Young? He, he looks real young. He looks like he's, like, 15. I just saw that, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. And and Tony's bringing him... He might him, be a new one that they found. Yeah, they're going to be bringing him, bringing him on the road. That's what they said. You That's, like the show? I you like it. doing it? Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun show. It's a fun podcast, right? Kill you Tony? You like Kill Tony, Dom? Yeah, it's fun. I saw it grow from nothing to... Exactly. We amazing. saw it, like, I think I did it when it was in the belly room. Uh, me and Doug Benson, maybe? I forget who I was on with. But they had this... I mean, they were just coming up with ideas for it. And um, the girls that they were... were uh, Like, the people that they were trying to help grow were Kim Congdon and um, Sarah Weinshank. On the panel? She does the minute... They were like Hans Kim and David Lucas. Oh. You know how they're like featured. And they got like career, careers now. Yeah, they, oh, they, but they were in the beginning of Kill Tony. And they get one year, I believe, I don't know if it's changed now, but he, he does it like one year or two years of how long they can be featured on that podcast. But those two opened it up, Kim wow. and Sarah. Do you remember him pitching the idea at the store, Tony Hitchcliffe? Uh, no, I just remember it happening. I mean, maybe, I mean, he didn't like run upon me. We used to do it in the bell room. Yeah, that's what I mean. But yeah. I just remember it happening. Yeah. Don, Rose, how, how did he get you on? Like, would he just ask you as a favor? Or? Well, he probably asked Rogan through, and Joe did it for me. I, me, I did it for Joe because he asked me for a favor. And, oh, you didn't know Tony well? No, I didn't know him at all. Yeah, he was a young guy, newer-ish. But probably looked up to Dominic. Yeah, it was just, just really amazing. I say it again that to see it grow from nothing. Exactly. Well, same thing with yeah. Roast Battle. Roast Battle was, I remember they'd come down, I'd have like a 115 spot in the original room, and they'd be like, hey, can you, after you, can you come up and um, judge Roast Battle? And I'm like, sure. But like, it was like me and Leslie Jones. Sarah was great. Sarah. Who'd uh, you got that? Wine shank? Yeah, that's it. Really? Who's the, the Sarah who? On Roast Battle? Yeah, she's fucking funny. Oh, they're, Sarah, Sarah Tiana? Sarah yeah. Tiana is excellent. Yeah, excellent. she's an excellent writer. We saw a, a roast between, and this is obviously when it grew. I mean, that grew so big, it went, uh, they had it on Comedy Central. But it was literally nobody in the belly room. Isn't that a Jeff Ross thing? It was, I mean, he put his name on it, but technically it's Brian Moses. And the oh, real Philly battle comic stuff. is very a guy that's originally from Philly. He's heavily involved in that. I think Pat Pat Barker. Oh yeah, of course. Pat's Strong, great. Very funny. Another terrific writer. He I never I, and he Lester. left he left Philly when I was just starting. Pat, but I still, see him all over. He's still that. there. He would, probably was there Tuesday night because mm-hmm. he's so good. He's he's a brilliant writer. Um, but Sarah Tiana was roasting. It was a big battle, and it was her and Tiffany Haddish. Oh, and you know Tiffany, very funny, um, and she's just not as quick as Sarah. But she's silly. She's more yeah, silly. She's great. Yeah. So the panel was like Joe DeRosa, 
um, Jeff Ross. I, I forget who else was on there because I just remembered DeRosa's comments. <laughs> and so Sarah Tiana is like literally annihilating. I was sitting with Leslie Jones. Where she's literally annihilating her. And Leslie's like sitting back because she's like, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, it got personal? No, just it, it, Sarah was so good. And it was just here to somebody who went up, like Tiffany just took it for granted that she could go up and be yeah, like, it's not that, hey, yeah. it's not that kind of show. Like Tiffany's a killer comic, but it's a completely different muscle mm -hmm. to do the roast. And so she couldn't go up and be like, nice shirt, you know, and like kind of, you look like a blah, 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 toe up, whatever, right? So she was trying to do it that way. Whereas Sarah was like, tonight's going to end like 200 years ago with me owning you. Whoa. <laughs> right? Whoa. So we were like, uh, and Tiffany at the time, and this was a long time ago, and Tiffany was like, I don't give a shit because she was, you know, it's, she loves Sarah and whatever. But it was like a, you know, the crowd gets in Babu or whatever anytime she did a joke. And so she goes, I don't care. I'm going to be famous. I'm on a Tyler Perry show. And Joe DeRosa goes, is it Diary of an Unfunny Black Woman? Yeah. And the whole crowd went crazy. <laughs> so was, is that out there? Is that on YouTube? Can you find it? That's a great question. I don't no it's it's old but wow. i don't know if they were filming I, again this is the beauty of the live shows how much fun they were yeah. and i don't know if they were filming or if it was just a competition but it was so much fun and then tiffany had some you know got some stuff in and but it, and then it became like fun but sarah just has that muscle do you know what i mean she really did. it's completely different completely she's really really insanely talented i mean so is tiffany of course but it's just it was fun to watch and i remember i said to leslie jones i go we should do that and she goes nah that shit hurts <laughs> i go you're not wrong <laughs> but I, I i i don't think i'm as good as sarah i'm more like tiffany i probably get crushed in something like that no you wouldn't but don't i'm not i don't like writing like sarah the way they do it yeah, even yeah. pat barker the way they do it I think yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't sign up for it is what I'm saying. Like Leslie, I trust. And I think we're similar humors. So we you wouldn't battle in a roast, but I've seen you in a roast. You're very funny. You, d you did the uh, one in Philly with. Uh, I did. Yeah. The mayor. Oh, that was that scared the <laughs> shit out of me. But like, so I, <laughs> I don't just, know about this at all. What is it? What is this? Conklin said it. Joe Conklin said it when he was on the podcast. He said how Eleanor like crushed Rendell. Your friend called me, remember? I mean, your friend called you and said, you got it. There's this girl from South Philly. He, um, oh God, I could see his face. We Can had dinner me? with them. No, we had dinner with them. He was at the roast in Philly. He's a good friend of yours and I'm fucking his name is escaping me. Two daughters, a wife. Uh, and he, mm. he's, he either does comedy or whatever. It'll come to me. Um, and he called you and you go, oh, my God, they just told me about this girl that roasted <laughs> Angelo Cataldi and um, Howard Eskin. And by the way, I didn't know either of them. That's how Philly I am. Not. Uh, big, <laughs> big impossible. Growing up, I didn't listen to that shit. I didn't listen to the so radio. So you legitimately had to do your homework to roast. Homework, homework. Wow. I did not. I called my How much dad. time did you do? Because this is what happened. I was in Philly. I'm new at comedy-ish, right? This is about 15 years ago. 12, so what, 15, five, six years in, something like that? Something like that. So I'm new, but I'm home, and I want to hang out with my mom, and I need spots because I'm going crazy. So I was doing Baldini's Parks, and I said, hey, you know any um, spots I could get around town? And Joe Conklin goes... Yeah, I, I could put you up at, because he was hosting. He goes, I'll put you up tomorrow night. Come to the tea room, the Russian tea room. Remember that? Where that? See, you're not Philly either. Near yeah. Wanamaker's? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, fucking yeah. killer up I there. I don't know if that's what it's called. It, the Russian tea room. Is it called Russian tea yeah, room? Yeah, yeah, I know what that is. Dom, am I wrong? Yeah, 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 the tea room. Do you room. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, there's one in New York. But there was one in near Wanamaker's in Center City. It was like a little, like a nice... Like, I don't know, whatever. So he said, come there. So I said, okay, I remember that place, right? So I went, and he said, he goes, you're only doing like five minutes, and you're just going to roast Angelo Cataldi and Howard Eskin. And I go, no problem. I had no idea who he was. <laughs> I don't look him up. I, I said, mom, do you know this person, right? And my, I called my dad. 
my father, who owns a typewriter you know? store, I go, Dad, have you ever heard of Howard Eskin or Angelo Cataldi? And he goes, why don't you do that Google thing, girl? <laughs> <laughs> great response no no one knew who he was wow so I, because we didn't listen to like radio you're not gonna listen your brothers to ain't big sports guys yes we oh. espn or whatever's on tv but not if Philly, the radio's local on sports radio it's wdas or q102 he was always on wip growing up they wouldn't listen to am if you put am on you get punched in the face wow so no we didn't well the other one they're pretty good um they're, they're good they're three guys and a girl they were really, really funny. Um, Not I, oh, Philly well, what, sports radio? No, it wasn't sports. Just regular. Hmm. You would never understand it. Why wouldn't I? So you see? <laughs> That's, what. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> That's why you wouldn't understand. But I don't, I, I don't remember. Um, I remember. So I looked them up. I Googled them. Then I started noticing that more negative things were coming up about Howard Eskin. Oh, yeah. So it was easier to roast. Eskin, like he just had a lot more dumb shit happen. He he was he created that around him. He's really not that bad a guy. No, he's he's a sweetheart. But what happened was when you're googling, all you're reading is this shit. So I was calling my friends in L.A. that are like pro roasters, and I was like, "Look, is this too harsh?" Because I'm not going to retell it. But there, and I I wound up I said it, but I didn't like commit to the whole joke so i just did it as a throwaway line and the crowd went crazy and apparently he was like sending this lady roses and unfortunately she was murdered or something crazy but he didn't have anything to do with it so i said at a throwaway like hey don't send me no roses or something oh, okay. oh my god but my friend because i called my friend was this too harsh like I'm, i think i'm supposed to be clean like I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm and I'm literally in backstage, and calling my two good buddies, being like, "Is this okay?" And I'm sweating, and then I just went up, and because, oh, uh, what's his name was on um, Hopkins, Bernard Hopkins, the boxer, mm -hmm. yeah. and he left because it was Ramadan, and they started late, <laughs> <laughs> so I got to roast him a little, bit. <laughs> and then Ed Rendell was on there. And I, somebody told me the story that like he would, uh, uh, girls would go to his house, like he would say, okay, deliver it to my house, like a secretary or a runner or something. And he'd open the door and he'd have a robe on and it'd be open and he'd have his fucking jewels out, right? And so I just went in on him because he hit on me while I was waiting to go on. Oh, did he really? He got mad. He go, ooh, you're a tall drink of water. <laughs> And I go, sip, sip, buddy. 